Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's a uh, Sunday afternoon out here at the lake again. And I had some issues last time I took the motor out. I'm still breaking in the new Suzuki motor. I had um, attached my old fuel tank that I had with the, the Tohatsu. And the connector that hooks to the motor actually fit well, but uh, the motor would not pull fuel from the tank. So I cut that connector off and actually ordered the Suzuki connector that goes right there. You can see the hose running in. Got the actual Suzuki part and uh, she's pulling from the, from the fuel tank. So I've been letting it uh, do its five minute warm up and we'll see how it goes. Gonna take it out, beautiful day. Stick around, thanks. All right, it's a little windy today, but uh, it seems to be pulling fuel just fine, working good, we'll see. I'm on off across the lake. You know, if it was to quit pulling fuel from that tank, it's not a big deal, I've got fuel in here, but uh, it's windy today. I'm going into the wind right now. And, uh, I've got no leakage. And, uh, let's see, let's see it right here. No leakage. Uh, we're gonna I've had it running off the fuel tank for five minutes no issues and uh, I'm gonna head off across the lake and just see if we can put some time on this motor and uh, I think we're good I think she's pulling good from the fuel tank oh it's windy today on the water. Woo! Turn in the boat. Might get choppy. from the external tank, no issues. And uh, I'm gonna try to find a nice place to have a sandwich. Put a little time on this motor. We're gonna take a nice cruise. Yeah, no leaks. No leaks at all. Pulling fine from the tank. This is just what I wanted. So it was worth getting the actual Suzuki connector here. I got it in half throttle. Boy, the lake is rolling. I got the wind at my back, but you can see it's really rolling. I mean, she is rolling. This boat handles it well. You've even got white caps. There's a young eagle up in the sky. Out 
paving to pull into. Have a sandwich. Okay, well, um, as you can see, she's running just fine. I've got no leaks. And I actually have this top valve closed. So it is not pulling from that tank. It's set to run on the external tank. Have this vent open. And uh, she's been running great. Been running great. Absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna go up here, check this place out a little bit. Might just let this run for a little while. She was just pushing pretty hard out there in the wind. I mean, it is windy. There's the wind's blowing this way, and then when you, it's actually blowing this way at the same time. But uh, already saw a young eagle. She's pulling good. The other day, when I had the different connector from my old boat, I could pump. I could pump fuel from this through the hose to that and it would suck all the fuel out of the hose but it would not pull from the tank and as you can see I've got this tank see here back out some uh, she's hooked up here there's the pump ball and I actually ran the hose through the frame of the boat see it and it comes around and up so it's, it's a lot longer hose than what's normal. A lot of guys would set a tank right there and just have a small hose with a pump bottle, but I don't like all that weight back here. I wanna move it forward, so. Anyway, it's pulling fine, as you can see. And in fact, I've got enough hose, I can move that tank to in front of this seat and uh, help her level out a little more with, with the weight of me being back here. But I couldn't be happier with how it's working. It's, uh, this was definitely a success, not a fail and working great this is six gallons this motor will run wide open for 35 minutes on a quarter gallon which is what the tank holds in the interior in, internal tank so this is six gallons i could run wide open 12 hours so Anyway, I'm gonna let the motor run, cool down a little bit, and I come up here, and get situated. Well, starting a fire. It's windy, everything is wet. The ground is wet, all the sticks are wet. One light, I think it's going. I think I can build on this. I think we got, we got something going here. I'm gonna get a good fire going and sit back, eat my lunch, and enjoy the beautiful scenery. Well, it is windy as a son of a gun. I mean, the wind is blowing, but everything's wet, including the wood I built this fire with. Uh, ground's very wet, very moist, so. Other than that, I wouldn't make it, but what a beautiful day. Windy, beautiful out here. I don't know if you can hear the wind. I want to say you know my videos aren't super bushcrafty you know I'm not making chairs out of wood and stuff like that but I'd like to show some people out there that they can do it and on a budget you can it, you can get out and enjoy the outdoors and and just there's somewhere near your home that's a beautiful spot whether it's hiking boating 
fishing or all the above that you can go to just get away for a little bit even if it's just for a few hours and enjoy yourself my boat i acquired very inexpensive uh, most of my gear is used from the goodwill or a thrift store and i just enjoy getting outside spending a little time i didn't catch my meal today i uh, stopped at the gas station they had a heck of a deal it's, uh two waters a sandwich and a big bag of chips five bucks so i'm just out enjoying the day and i'm hoping that it'll show other people they can do that too i do have a fishing pole with me see what i can do there too There's a sandwich. Fire's doing good. I'm just gonna sit here by the fire and watch the world go by. That was a great lunch. I've just been sitting here enjoying myself, listening to the birds and the wind and the waves. Duck blind over there. Well, the point of today's outing was to see if I could uh, get the motor to pull exclusively from the external fuel tank, and it has been. I run it for 30 minutes straight from the external fuel tank, and will continue to. Um, I've had a nice lunch out here, built a fire, just been sitting here enjoying the weather and the wind, listening to the birds. I'm done eating now. In a few minutes, I'll put this fire out and I'll head back to the boat take it out and see if we can't put a little more time on it running exclusively from the external tank i've got no leaks no fuel leaks at all the connector that i bought was a genuine suzuki part it's the female connection that goes to the motor from the fuel tank fits perfect when i pump it up no fuel leaks from it and it's drawn from the tank perfectly which is exactly really what i wanted now the six gallon tank is from my old motor and it's it's old i'd prefer to have a three gallon so now that i know the system works and it will pull from the external tank i'm going to go ahead and probably order a three gallon tank it takes up less space and there's no way that i'll use that much fuel on, a, on an outing plus i have the the fuel that would be back up in the tank that's in the motor so anyway today was a great success and in a few here i'll be out on the water and we'll cruise around a little bit
see she's pulling real good from the motor. No leakage, running good. This tank is full. I'll let her warm up a minute. And then we'll take it on out for a for a spin for a while. area here I don't believe it's open yet but nice place to come barbecue or and they have a swimming beach very cool come back in this cove just uh, cruise at a light speed I'm out of the rain for a second anyway that might be some rain right above me but it won't last long if it is it's actually been really nice refreshing out here been doing a little bit of fishing I don't have a tripod with me so I can't really film it but I'm just taking a nice leisurely cruise and why not I've got all the fuel in the world just kind of enjoying the evening. It looks like a beaver den, which is pretty cool. That's the first one I've seen on this lake. Very neat. I gotta tell you, this uh, has gone extremely well. The fuel tank still went, I've been, I've been running on this external fuel tank now for an hour and a half. It works fine at all speeds, low idle, all the way to full speed. Works great, no issues with it. 